I've always approached it in uh, in the same way. You know, I've I always did my research as to who was up and coming in the market, um, who was existing in the market, and uh, and I aimed to be above that at some point. You know, there's no use being equal to your peers um, because you become an average Joe. Uh, you need to aim higher than what they've achieved. You know, there's no point saying that when I came to Malaysia, there was, you know, Channel V, MTV, um, all this ESPN and stuff, a lot of regional channels. And, uh, and obviously I got in with ATV, which is a, which is a terrestrial channel in Malaysia. And is, it's, it's owned by one of the biggest um, broadcasting stations. But I always wanted to go regional, so uh, so I, I aimed for you know uh, stations like ESPN or MTV, and uh, and I always think that you need a goal and something to set yourself, but something that it would be more of a dream to get, but a reality at the same time. You really need to sort of think I can actually do this, uh, I can get there, and it's only a matter of choices and little routes that I take that will bring me to this point. There's, like I said, there was a big learning curve in my life. And uh, a lot of that was public speaking, um, speaking in front of crowds, um, emceeing and hosting events was a big one for me. Like the few events that I did in the, in the start of my career were atrocious. I absolutely stuttered, I was sweating, you know, I felt so uncomfortable. But, uh, but it's all an experience, you know, you can't let that sh let that shy you away from becoming what could potentially be uh, a really good uh, personality or uh, a host. So I took all those little lessons that I learned and I sort of compiled it to kind of like a gauze. You know, in experience in life, you, you make filters and, uh, and I always put questions or, um, you know, uh, moments through these little filters and gorges and you come out with an outcome which you know you you better yourself every time so uh, so that's what I did and uh, and it's it's just all I'm, I'm learning even now so I think you need to take the leap of faith a lot of people they're afraid of leaving you know their comforts in life their friends uh, I had a great life in London I had the perfect job I had amazing friends but uh, there was always something missing and I think you need to identify what is missing uh, be it the adventure be it the um, you know exploration of the world um, and you kind of need to make the decision that you know life is short we've only got what at max 80 years on this world and uh, and you need to make the most of it. And so I thought, you know, London's always going to be there. New York, Tokyo, you know, Madrid, wherever you're going to be, um, it's always going to be there. It's the people that change, and uh, people can't be the constant thing in your life uh, because people move. Like somebody once told me that a city's a bit like uh, being stuck in transit. You know, you meet people, you make great, great friends, uh, but you're only there in between life you know you uh, you've got other places to go so you have to keep that kind of incentive that you've got to keep moving so don't be afraid to uh, jump into something that you you would think that I would you know I'd never make it into that sort of business but you'll never know until you try so take that leap so a quick summary of my points um, main important thing keep an open mind um, it's really important to be able to soak in your environment and soak in different cultures and uh, and what people tell you number two you have to keep a correct sort of mindset um, you know there's no point being negative there's no point being um, you know closed off and uh, and you know shying away and things like that uh, have a positive mindset and a mindset that will extend your goals and don't keep them to a minimum, you know, the sky's the limit as they say. And number three, don't be afraid to reinvent yourself, you know, be it moving, uh, moving to different countries, different cities, or even a different job that you never thought would be possible. Um, other, you know, if you don't do this, what are you going to have, you know, at the end of the day we, we only have our stories. Um, and that's the only constant thing in life is the tales that we can tell when we're old and you know sat in that wheelchair um, so why have the one story you know I, I 
never wanted to be a hairdresser for the rest of my life um, and I won't be, want to be a presenter for the rest of my life. This is sort of just another chapter. So uh, be free to explore. Number four, aim to surpass your peers. Um, there's nothing worse than giving yourself a roof and when you hit that roof, you don't know where to go. Uh, you need to open up that door and uh, leave it open. You know, the sky is the limit. And, uh, and if there are people that you, you aim to be like, don't aim to be like them, aim to be higher than them. Uh, it's important to not sell, set yourself a limit um, in this sense that you can constantly keep learning and uh, I suppose putting yourself a little level up. Number five, be neutral. You know, it opens up so many doors of uh, experience and challenges and uh, just opportunity in general. Uh, there's nothing worse than putting yourself on a podium and looking down on people because people don't like that and uh, they find it hard to um, open up to those sort of people and, uh, and it's, mm, you shouldn't be putting yourself down either. So try keep a neutral type of character which is uh, more intrigued by other people's characteristics. I mean there's uh, people love the fact that you're interested in them and that's the way it should be. You should be learning from other people, other people's experiences. I'm Henry Golding, thanks for watching The Bliss Blin. Make sure you subscribe or leave me a message or leave Hanny a message, uh, any questions you have. I'll leave you with a uh, quick quote. Um, it's not how many years you have in your life, but how much life you have in your years. And uh, some old bum told me that in a bar, and it's kept with me for the rest of my life. And uh, I think it's been a good motto so far. chosen as one of the Tag Heuer um, ambassadors for the new cause of environmental issues. Um, so we've, uh, we've just had a press conference to the Malaysian, pub, um, Malaysian press um, explaining as to what we're going to be doing. Um, and the main uh, thing that we're touching on is recyclable or reuse reusable bags, which we'll be designing me, Marion and Cam. And, uh, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll, make a, we'll make a difference.